Star Citizens, and welcome to another Ship Showdown video where we're just going to talk about today's uh, contest, and we're also going to go over some things that I might have got wrong in the last video, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. But of course, we are still doing our ship contest, and our ship contest is for a ship that I can't really talk about. So I'm just going to say that it's a good time to, to like, dislike a video, uh, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you're subscribed or to join the channel and become a member because if you do any of, uh, well, the first three things or you do that last thing, you will be entered to win that contest uh, because I think you're all gonna like the ship that we give away uh, this month. That being said, this video is really, uh, I wanna start by talking about the uh, something I said the other day. I completely skipped that the Vulture one last year i guess it just completely skipped my mind because at the time uh i wasn't really thinking about the i was thinking more so about the winner rather than like the top four so i it completely skipped my mind so i have to do redo a little bit of who i think is going to win and my prediction because oh well the c1 spirit won as i as i predicted um and then i think the ursa medevac will win but we'll talk about that later uh, who I think I think the STV should win. Um, I think the 890 jump will win. I think the just to recap, the the 890 jump will win. I think the Terrapin will win. I think the M50 will or I think the Fury will win. I think I want the M50 to win. Uh, and here I think the Defender will win. I, and here I think the F8C Lightning will win. So let me go back here because the Vulture just had one and the Reclaimer didn't, it's 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 a little odd for me. But both of them have been top four. So I'm still gonna go with the Vulture in this round. And I so I, so I still think it's going to make it to the second round. The only reason that it'll make it to the top four is because I think these are, I think this is the wrong division for this to go against. I, I really wish that they did the Speed Demons versus, uh, the uh the pathfinder or uh the road warriors or the speed demons versus the aliens because i feel like those are those are like there's not a lot of people who race not a lot of people who fly those specific ships so yeah it's you know i i feel like it's gonna it's gonna be an automatic lose for the speed demons division so it's still gonna get a skin right but I also think the FAC Lightning is going to beat the F7C, even though that's not what I want to happen. And I think the Defender will be going against the FAC. The FAC will beat the Sulian or the uh, the Defender. And so here we'll have the C1, because I, I think the C1 will be either one of these. So I think it'll be the C1. I think it will be the Terrapin. I think it will be the Vulture, and I think it will be the F8C. The F8C is going to beat the Vulture because the Vulture already has a skin. And I think the F8C will make it to the final, and then it'll be... I think the Terrapin will beat the C1. Um, and then I think it'll be Terrapin versus F8C, and that is a toss-up. I, like, I think the Terrapin could beat the Vulture, but I'm not sure it could beat the F8C. Um, and there also is a third skin for the uh, F8C that I didn't mention, but it's mostly because, like, I don't know, maybe 50 people have it. Uh, there's this Storm Paint skin or something like that. That skin is, you had to get the Platinum Ticket in order to get that skin on the Lightning. So there's not that many people that have it. I have yet to meet anybody that has it, but I'm sure somebody out there has it, so... That would be, I guess, a point in favor of the Terrapin and getting a different skin for the Terrapin. But they're all going to get skins because they're all going to make it to this level anyway. So uh, if, if the F8C Lightning makes it to the to the fourth place, I think that should satisfy most F8C Lightning people. Uh, but there is a lot of love for the F8C Lightning. But I think long-term community members are more so interested in the Terrapin or the Gladiator getting some love. So I think... The, I, I'm hoping that the long-term members come through and and put in for the Terrapin because the FAC Lightning is such a beloved ship that it's going to get skins anyway. Like, I have no doubt that the FAC Lightning, by the time the game releases, will have seven, eight, nine skins because it's just going to be one of those ships that everybody loves. It's a combat ship. Combat ships get tons of skins. 
The Terrapin, on the other hand, is not a combat ship. It is capable of it, obviously, but not in any great capacity. But it needs some love. And the same thing with the Gladiator, because I think if the Terrapin doesn't win this first round, then the Gladiator should be the champion because of the same reasons as the Terrapin. Gladiator is might it might be outside of no, I'm pretty sure it is. I think the Gladiator is the most underlooked at ship in the entire Star Citizen game. I don't think it's gotten any love, barely any love. Uh, maybe one or two glances from the from the developers since it's it's it needs a Mark II. To be completely honest with you, it needs the F7C Mark II treatment. I might buy a Gladiator Mark II, um, and I'm hoping that if it wins the champion, if it wins the championship, that it gets that Mark II treatment. So there's that uh, redo of my of my thing. I think the semifinals is the one we really care about. So I think we got just to re reiterate. I think we'll have C1 Terrapin Vulture F8C. Then I think it'll be Terrapin uh f8c and then i think terrapin will win the whole thing my final prediction is uh f8c and terrapin in the finals and then terrapin takes the whole thing all right now let's talk about this stv and ursa medevac so i want to be very clear that i like the ursa medevac better i think people should i you, you know i think people should most people who own the game their first vehicle purchase should be a ursa medevac now whether you do that in-game or out-of-game, that's your choice. I think there's, like I said, three vehicles that I would choose to actually purchase with real money. One is the Ursa Medevac. Uh, one is the Rock. And the other is the Nova. And I've said my reasons in another video, so I won't reiterate those. So I just want to make it very clear that I love the Ursa Medevac. And it's my favorite vehicle in the entire game uh, over, over the Nova and over the Rock. The Ursa Medevac is my favorite vehicle in the game. And I say that so that you understand that when I say I'm voting for the STV, I want you to understand why I'm voting for the STV. The Ursa has tons of skins and it will continue to get more skins. It will continue to get more skins. The STV does not have a ton of skins. And it's very unlikely that it'll get a ton more skins like the Ursa. The Ursa is a widely beloved vehicle. Widely beloved. We need to get skins to some of these vehicles that don't have that many skins. And that's what I, I really want folks to focus on. Like, what is Ship Showdown really going to get us? The Ursa Medevac is a new vehicle and it came with three skins. It literally came with three skins when it was announced. So I'm just saying, I, I hope folks look at what we need to get out of the developers rather than just their own personal value, right? Because I love the Ursa Medevac. I just said it's my favorite vehicle and I still voted for the STV because I think when we do these, these things, you know, I, I understand everybody wants to get a skin for their ship or, or their vehicle. But we got to look at it a little bit with a wider scope, I think, because if I only voted for my ships, then you can imagine. And, and, and I, I put 10K into the game. Like, how fair is that if I only vote for my ships and they're all like $700 plus ships, right? And if only the people who put $700 into the game, if they're the only people that get anything out of these ship showdowns i just don't think that's fair this which is why i don't want the 890 jump to win but i do want the 890 jump to get a skin i want the 890 jump to make it to the semifinals right and that's why i want this stv to make it to the semifinals i don't think it's going to happen i think the c1 is going to beat whatever comes out i think the c1 is going to beat the ursa medevac or the stv but i would rather the stv make it to, to round two so that it has a chance to make it to the semifinals. The Ursa Medevac just doesn't need a skin. It, there's plenty of skins out there. Um, so that's why I think the STV should win that. I know people are going to disagree. I, I completely understand you want another skin for your Ursa, regardless of how many skins you have. But look, we're at 2,000 to 9,000. It's an uphill battle for the stuff I'm talking about. But at the same time, I think the C1's going to beat whatever comes out of it anyway. So hey, you know, do what you want. Do what you feel. But... Uh, if I'm asking my community uh, to do anything, I'm going to say go in and vote for the STV. Let's get let's get an underdog in there. I got it. The MPUV1 for the meme. This isn't for the meme. This is because 
we need to get some of these ships that don't get as much attention we need to get them some skins so you know i would love to see in the semifinals i told you what my prediction is but what i would love to see in the semifinals is the stv the terrapin the m50 and the defender that's what i would love to see if i because if if that happened all four of them get skins and that's what i really want and then whoever wins it is whoever wins it but what i would want to happen is the terrapin versus the m50 because then whoever wins they're both kind of overlooked ships i think the terrapin and the m50 going into the finals would be perfect because whoever wins it's great because the m50 is kind of overlooked i don't think it has any skins it may have one or two of those like Stormbringer paints that everything kind of got um but either way i would be satisfied with the result i i want the terrapin to win but that's what i want to see so my predictions are different than what i want to see but yeah uh, it would just be so great to just see the stv underdog terrapin underdog m50 underdog defender underdog and all four of the underdog ships get some skins i just think that would be great mind you i don't own i don't own defender i don't own an m50 i don't own a terrapin and i don't own an stv so i want to be very clear i am not going to benefit off of any of those ships that i want to win winning now if the terrapin the terrapin gets wins the champion then I might consider buying a Terrapin if they actually give it some love. But until they give it love, I still wouldn't buy it. Um, I might, you know, upgrade something to it for something else, but I would not buy it until it gets some love. So that's the only one I on this list I would even consider buying. In fact, I own a Mercury and I'm, I wanted it to get beat in the first round. I own a Ursa Medivac. I want it to get beat in the first round. I own a 600i. I want it to get beat in the first round. Don't own either one of these. Don't own either one of these. I own both of these. It's 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 a crapshoot for me, but the Vulture I want to win because I feel like the Vulture is just giving a skin to more people if it doesn't manage to make it to the fourth round. But I want the Vulture to lose. Well, I mean, I mean, well, I mean the Vulture making it to this round, but then I want the Vulture to lose to a ship I don't have, the M50. I don't have a Sulian. I don't have a Defender. I have both of these and I want both of these to lose to a ship I don't have. So I feel like I'm, I'm maybe I'm over pleading my case, but I don't care. I, I think we got to step outside of ourselves, folks, and get the rest of the community some skins, man. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'll, I'll make an, an announcement. When I see who makes the semifinals, I will make an announcement because I think I'm going to do a giveaway regardless. If the STV makes it to the semifinals, I will give away an STV as soon as I can get my hands on one. That I can guarantee. If it makes it to the semifinals, I will give away an STV. If the M50 makes it um, to the semifinals, I will give away an M50 for sure. And the, yeah, any of these is not really going to apply. But I'm going to make sure that somebody shows that ship some love. Shows those ships some love. But yeah, go and vote for the STV. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.